That's why suddenly everything, even beer cans, are celebrating and promoting transgenderism. Bud Light has just released a commemorative can celebrating a man who dresses up like a woman. His name is Dylan Mulvaney. Here's Alyssa, Alyssa Heinerscheid, who brags that she is the first female VP of Bud Light, telling us that Bud Light loves Dylan Mulvaney, but hates its own customers. So I had this super clear mandate. It's like, we mm -hmm. need to evolve and elevate this incredibly iconic brand. What does evolve and elevate mean? It means inclusivity. It means shifting the tone. It means having a campaign that's truly inclusive and feels lighter and brighter and different and appeals to women and to men. Mm -hmm. And representation is at sort of the heart of evolution. You've got to see people who reflect you in the work. And we had this hangover. I mean, Bud Light had been kind of a brand of fratty, kind of out of touch humor. And it was really important <laughs> that we had another approach. Out of touch, fratty and out of touch. Is there anyone more out of touch than that woman? It's the most reaction of the people who live in the tiniest little worlds. They run everything. Bud Light. Preferred beverage at sporting events, concerts, and tawdry burlesque shows. For a man who places electrical tape over his nipples. Perfect beer for blowing out the pipes. Is that woman the perfect physical embodiment of the problem in America? Yes. How do people like that take charge of our country? The least impressive, the dumbest.